Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a controversial revelation surrounding the remake of The Color Purple, and the ripple effect it has on Hollywood. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell to stay updated with our content. Now, let's get started. Boozy recently took to social media to share his thoughts on the remake of The Color Purple, sparking a heated debate. In a surprising turn of events, he, along with two other couples, left the theater before the movie concluded. The reason? Boozy found the script promoting a narrative he deemed unsuitable for his daughter. I had my little girls with me, and it seemed like a gay love story with good acting, but whoever wrote the script is strongly promoting this narrative. As a parent, I will not allow my little girl to watch this film. Boozy's departure from the movie, and his subsequent commentary on the script raise questions about the portrayal of certain themes in cinema, and their impact on audiences. Boozy's feelings toward the LGBTQ community are well documented. With a previous revelation about turning down a $250,000 performance fee for an LGBTQ event. I'm not motivated solely by money. I've been offered a quarter million to perform at an LGBTQ community event. I have nothing against it, but that's not aligned with my beliefs and values. The Color Purple, originally a Pulitzer Prize winning novel, has been adapted for the screen multiple times. Boozy's critique, however, goes beyond the cinematic elements, focusing on the content of the script itself. The narrative revolves around Celie, a character facing abuse and finding empowerment through a romantic relationship with a female jazz singer. Boozy's objection to the script raises broader questions about the industry's influence on black actors. Are they forced into portraying themes and characters that don't align with their beliefs? At the center of this discussion are two influential figures, Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry, a trailblazer in the industry, has faced accusations of forcing black actors into roles that compromise their integrity. The conspiracy theory of the dress curse suggests that Hollywood is emasculating black actors, with Perry allegedly being a key player in this agenda. I'm not a man who enjoys wearing a dress. For me as an actor it's a costume, like someone putting on their uniform for work. Oprah Winfrey, on the other hand, has been accused of blacklisting black actors and comedians. I'm a little black fat girl from Baltimore, Maryland, and I saw this fat black woman on a TV show, and we took a field trip to that studio, and I hugged that woman. And I said, when I grow up, Miss Winfrey, I want to do what you do. M. Onique, once a fan and admirer of Oprah, found herself blacklisted after refusing to promote the film Precious for free. I got labeled as difficult because I said one word, and that was no. I'm not obligated to go anywhere. I've done my part. The struggles extend to renowned actresses like Taraji P. Henson, who almost walked away from The Color Purple due to being underpaid. Henson sheds light on the industry's complacency and the challenges faced by black actresses. I haven't, I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. The controversy surrounding The Color Purple goes beyond the movie itself. It unravels a complex web of influence, power dynamics, and struggles faced by black actors in Hollywood. What are your thoughts on this situation? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it informative, and until next time, stay tuned for more content.